morning, welcome back to the vlog. It is day three and it's our first full day in Vegas because obviously yesterday we came in, or yesterday, I'm saying yesterday, but last week's vlog, we came in from LA to Red Rock. So today's the first day that we're waking up in Vegas on the strip and going to bed in Vegas on the strip. So what are we gonna do today? Um, it's nomad check-in day. It's uh, fourth hotel in four days. Looking forward to getting the nomads and, and unpacking. Um, so we literally, we got up again. We woke up this morning at, I don't know how. I went to bed about half 12 last night. Um, woke up at 3 a.m. Really, really hungover and groggy. Luckily, we managed to go back to sleep. Emily was like, just shut up and shut your eyes, go back to bed. It worked. We woke up at 5.55 um, and started our day at 6 a.m. So. We're just getting all packed up, ready to head over to the Nomad. What we're going to do is we're going to go downstairs. We're 300 credits short of Emily maintaining her premier status with Venetian. So we want to get that done now while we're here. So we're going to go downstairs, do a little bit of gambling. We've got $25 in um, free play resort credit, whatever it's called, um, that we've earned on our gambling yesterday. Uh, we're going to check out, see if we can get the room charge comped. And then we're going to head over to Nomad, get checked in. And the plan for today is to visit Whataburger. Really, really excited for that. Um, and obviously there's a lot of Texan vloggers and uh, lots of people talking about it on the socials and in the groups and stuff. So really looking forward to trying that. Um, we're also going to try the Cabano, the new Cabano um, in Park MGM. Um, what else are we doing today? Amazing. We're going up to Mandalay Bay. We've got some Konami free play that we're going to get used. Um, get some My Vegas rewards. Maybe visit Tom's, Tom Urban, Tom's Beers. Get a usage for you of the two for one vouchers. Libertine Social. And then we're in Libertine Social for dinner. So um, yeah, another busy day. Looking forward to it. We're going to head straight downstairs now. Jump on a machine um, and use the free play. Catch you up on the floor. All right, so we've just been to the Garazzi Rewards and this is a perfect reason of why it's always worth going and asking the question. So we didn't have a huge bill. Obviously we ate in yard, but our room wasn't ready. So we paid on the credit card, uh, which is about $80. Um, so we had our one room, one night room fee and resort fee, which came to, I think it was just over $155. Um, anyway, we asked the question, so is there anything you can do? Um, with the resort fee or our room bill and I was half hoping that he might just knock off the resort fee but he said I've comped everything for you so uh, he paid the one night resort fee and the one night room fee so uh, yeah nice little result and that's why it's always worth asking the question so um, it's already quarter to 11 we are both starving and uh, we don't know what, we don't want to eat Whataburger late because we've got dinner reservations at like 6.15. So we're going to head straight up now, go back to the room, get the bags, get in the car, get over to Nomad and uh, go for a late breakfast, early lunch at Whataburger. So I'll pick it up when we get there. We made it back to Park MGM. Coming back here feels like coming home. There's New York, New York, what a beauty. Um, fingers crossed this time they don't get hacked. Uh, so we are gonna go straight through to the casino. Sorry, no we're not. Obviously one track mind. Uh, we're gonna go straight through the hotel to Whataburger. We are absolutely starving and I am really excited to try and see what all the fuss is about. So we'll pick it up when we get inside. I feel the warmth of your skin. I feel the touch of your hand. Love you with all of my heart. Makes me tremble within. Love the smell of your hair. I wanna be with you always. Cause 
spicy burger with a patty melt we've gone for uh, one portion of fries one portion of onion rings and we went for one each of the sauce so we got honey barbecue creamy pepper honey mustard buttermilk ranch honey butter this apparently is the water burger sauce this is the hot and spicy sauce um, and then we've got the normal ketchup and the spicy ketchup and I'm talking quickly and I'm talking loudly because Freddie Mercury is blasting his vocals out in the background and I don't want to get the copyright so we'll come back in a minute and give you our review. All right, what a burger. Literally, what a burger. Uh, I've got my shake in hand. Let's we'll start off with the sweet and spicy. Absolutely lovely. Emily's favorite. Sauce, amazing. The onions at Whataburger do are next level. The patty melt, very nice. Enjoyed it. Uh, something different, not had one before. Uh, onion rings, exceptional. The onion rings were better than most I've had in a top restaurant. Not like McDonald's onion rings where they're like breaded and doughy. This was like pop like it's like tempura butter, it was amazing. Um, chips, fries, fries and fries, chips, pretty much the same anywhere you go from a fast food chain. Um, got six sauces. Soon realized that they were very large, so we only had the uh, buttermilk ranch, which was very nice. But yeah, overall, far superior to an in and out We've eaten it in and out a few times and we found the food in and out yeah, terrible. Um, especially the chips, the, the fries are in and out are absolute garbage and the burgers in and out are very average. What a burger absolutely trumps um, in and out So we are nicely filled. We're gonna head to Nomad to check in, try and get checked in. Uh, my arm is absolutely aching from holding this phone up. Don't know why. So, I'll pick it up in a minute. All right, so we managed to get checked in early. It's 12 o'clock. So we've just got a standard uh, two queen bedroom. Won't do a huge amount on this. I think everyone's pretty much seen these before. Two queen beds, little um, desk area. What I do like, is I don't remember this in the last time we stayed, is they give you the Nespresso machine so you can have a proper coffee. Obviously, you've got the TV, mini bar area, bench seating. We've got a strip view, a strip mountain and uh, airport runway view, which is quite nice. And then moving into the bathroom, nice hardwood floor. We know from last time that the wardrobe is hidden in the wall because it took us 30 minutes to find it before. And then bathroom, standard Nomad, uh, mosaic tiling, marble sink, some more waters, nice little washed off argan oil body lotion, all the uh, amenity kits, and uh, yeah, decent shower and toilet. So yeah, it's a very quick, overview of the Nomad Room. So now I'll just update you on what happened at check-in regarding the hack and everything that we missed out on last trip. All right, so um, when we checked in, I obviously mentioned the fact that we stayed last time during the hack and there was a lot of confusion and um, lack of communication from MGM. Uh, so if you remember, for those that watched our first vlog, we obviously had 10 nights here during the hack 
and there were lots of things but uh, ultimately after we got back we started getting um, charges on our credit card we were told that there was nothing to pay at checkout we started receiving charges on my credit card and we never got any refunds for the food and beverage that we bought that we couldn't obviously use the F&B credit for because the systems were down. They told us they would refund them. So I asked the question and said, look, what is the situation? I've requested an itemized bill and I've not had anything. I've had no communication from MGM. It's literally been like pulling teeth out. Um, can someone clarify what actually happened and what happens moving forward? He said there were a couple of uh, refunds issued and he was able to print out the bill and the information so I can now check my credit card statement and see if they did come back and get reversed. He said um, we only use $50 of the food and beverage um, on our second stay, which is incorrect. Well, it's not, well, not, maybe not incorrect, but we certainly charged two or $300 worth of stuff and we asked them to obviously to do it on F&B. I think what's happened is they haven't taken it and therefore we had $150 left. What he said he's gonna do is put that 150 on our existing F&B credit. So we've now got 350 food and beverage credit to spend in two days, which is gonna be difficult for us, but we'll try. Um, and obviously he said for the um, for the free play, nothing he can do. Obviously we need to go and speak to MGM Rewards, but we've heard from other people that once they check in the system, anything that wasn't given to you last time will be added on to your trip this time. So, um, yeah, from my side, I'm quite that's I'm quite happy with that. It's clarified everything. Um, we were, like I said, we were happy with the bill in the end because he upgraded us to a decent suite and looked after us. So now we've got clarity. We've got a, an additional 150 F and B. Uh, and when we go down to the casino, we'll check with the MGM Rewards and see if we can get Emily's uh, missing free play from her last trip. So um, we're going to get the bags, uh, get everything unpacked now that we've got the room, and then we'll be heading out onto the casino floor. All right, so uh, quick update. It is 10 past two. We, uh, I am still in the room. Emily is downstairs. We've had issues with the safe again. Uh, called up about half an hour ago for them to send maintenance to fix it and they sent security for some reason. So I'm now waiting again for maintenance to come back. Um, just doing some uh, plane watching in the background. Quite a nice view actually. The planes are coming in right behind us. Um, from downtown side and uh, yeah hopefully maintenance will be here soon I can get down because it's like I said two o'clock I haven't done any gambling today um, also just to update you obviously we got the additional $150 food and beverage credit so the plan for us tomorrow is to go to downtown um, and we are not really feeling it. We kind of want to enjoy the strip. Uh, because of that extra $150 food and beverage credit, we've decided to cancel downtown and stay in the, uh, in, in the strip area tomorrow. Um, obviously as well, because yesterday we would have been off strip. We wouldn't have spent any of that money and I'm, I don't want to waste it. So um, we've changed a few things around. We're still going um, to Libertine Social tonight. And then tomorrow night, we're going to go to Bavette's. So originally, we were booked in for Bavette's on our last night on the 8th of March. But we're going to do Bavette's uh, tomorrow. And on the 8th of March, now, we're going to do a foundation room. So, um, yeah, a few things that we've changed up the last uh, last hour or so. So, anyway, I will pick it up when we get on the casino floor, which hopefully won't be too long. All right, so two hours later, we finally made it after the room after requesting maintenance three times and them sending two security guards. Uh, between me and the security lady, we managed to get the safe open and change the batteries. So we noticed Prosperity Link major is 2596. I'll show you the one next to it, it's 942. That major is very high. I've got $125 per replay, so we're gonna do some big bets and see if we can't land the major. All right, so we're going to do one cent denom. We're going to do two dollar sixty four spins. We're looking for three free spins or six of the orbs. All right, that's a nice hit. Forty eight dollar line hit. Nice start. One. Throw some down. One more for the free spins. All right, we'll come back and we get something else. 
All right, got another nice line hit, $36.90. Emily is also on the bonus on the game and next door. So far, we've done about $50 uh, free play and we're up 100. So that's a two to one ratio, which is nice. Still in search of that major, $2,596. All right, we'll come back if we get something juicy or the bonus. All right, we're pretty much out of our free play. We've got $7 left. We've just dropped it down to the 176 bet because it went uh, pretty quiet on the 264. So we've got three spins left. See if we can finish strong. All right, one spin to go. Let's make it a 264. Nope. All right, we turned 125 free play into $110. We'll take that any day. All right, so we've pulled out our $200 Tito and we've gone on Dragon Link, Autumn Moon, my nemesis the last 48 hours. She's taken hundreds and hundreds of dollars off me. Let's see if we can uh, win some back. We're just gonna do some uh, low rolling, one cent denom, one dollar bets. One more moon. Oh, there we go. Finally. Let's see if we can get more than $8 on the bonus. Emily's still on the uh, Prosperity Link, trying to, not Prosperity Link. Uh, yeah, Prosperity Game, trying to uh, win the major on her three plate. Orbs, orbs. All right, three of six so far. Look at the six orbs for the bonus. So far, $2.30. Hey. Come on, we need something. Orbs, orbs, orbs. Oh, wow. All right. Brilliant. And a nice $15 orb there. So, guessing that's around $30. Only four more for the grand, which is 15,000. Majors, 846, minor 50, mini $10. Three spins, here we go. Three more for the grand. All right, two more for the grand. Last spin, keep us alive. Nope. All right, can't complain. Two spins in, need some bonus. That's a nice start to the gambling after being locked in the room for two hours. We turned our free play into $100 and now a nice $35 bonus. Puts us up to $230, $130 up within 20 minutes. We'll do a couple of backup spins live. And we'll come back if we get anything else. All right, we got the hold and spin feature again, down to 180, nice $20 orb on the screen. Mini's 10, mine at 50. Good gambling so far in Park M Gem. Let's hope it continues for the rest of the day. All right, one spin, last spin. Keep us alive. Four more for the grand. Come on, fill me up, Buttercup. Last spin. Drop it. Nice. Three more to go. Come on, drop a mini or a minor. All right, two more to go. Change of music time. All right, last spin. Nope. All right, not a bad bonus. Probably close to $40. Right, 
Forty-one dollar bonus takes us to two twenty. Keeps us going. We'll do a couple of backup spins live. Finally, recovering some of our money from Autumn Moon. All right. We'll come back if we get another bonus or a nice line hit. All right, we're starting Autumn Moon. We're on uh, one dollar fifty bets. We are landing uh, five orbs, quite a lot. And uh, two moons, and we are landing some big numbers 40, 50, 100 dollar orbs. So we're gonna play this down to 150 at this bet level. See if we can't hit one of these big bonuses. Alright, I'll come back if we get something. See, these are the big orbs that are dropping. Alright, we'll come back. All right, we're down to uh, 157. We've dropped it down to a dollar. Um, we're just gonna play it down to 150 and then we're gonna catch up with Emily and move over to New York, New York. It's been teasing us. It's been dropping big orbs. It's been dropping five orbs. It's been dropping two moons, but we haven't hit the bonus in a while. Three spins to go. Can we get anything? All right, two spins left. Come on, one more, one more. Oh, last spin. Nope, that's all she wrote. All right, we're moving on to New York, New York. Oh, it's exactly a dollar, we'll do one more spin. Go on. All right, we're moving on. So we've been to the MGM Rewards. We've used our first ever, no, it's not first ever, that's a lie. Um, but first proper use for me for the My Vegas Rewards, because obviously last year the hack we couldn't use them. So we are going to Tom's little watch bar and we're gonna get two nice big beers. So I'll pick it up once we get inside. Alright, so we're just in at Tom's sort of watch bar. We got our two for one My Vegas. I've gone for Blue Moon and Emily's on the mango car. And if that's not enough, she's also got a Miller Lite that she still needs to drink. So, um, yeah, there might not be any more vlogging. We might just be signing here for the next four hours. We are done in Tom's Urban. Um, I didn't realize that the 40 ounce drinks are two and a half pints. So we've been in there for about an hour. We've uh, had to get a full to go cup. Oh. I'm spilling it. Uh, I had to finish half of Emily's as well, because she's a lightweight. It's funny, you know, in, in Dubai, she's a beer guzzler. She's guzzling it like it's going out of fashion. And then in Tom's Urban, she's like sipping it like it's a fine cognac. Oh, she wants Peroni or Asahi and they don't do it here. Oh no. Anyway, we need to get our gamble on. So uh, we're going to start making our way up to Mandalay Bay. We're going to do uh, a little bit of gambling here in New York, New York. Then make our way up to Mandalay Bay. So uh, I'll pick it up when we get another machine. All right, we jumped on Coin Combo. We haven't played this. Uh, we're on Mighty Monkey. Uh, we just put $100 in. We're back to doing some uh, shared gambling. 
when we've gambled together for the last couple of days it's been atrocious hopefully our luck changes today we're gonna do one dollar 76 bets major is 19 100 minor 45 mini 10 I can't actually remember what we were looking for on this. Oh yes, now we do. We can set the pots off with the coins. Come on, let's close all, all three pots at the same time, would be nice. All right, a little something, $3.60. We'll come back if we get a nice big hit or a bonus. All right, we're cashing out coin combo because uh, it's garbage. We're not hitting a single thing. We move on to the next machine. All right, we are on platinum jackpots. We're gonna do $1.50 bets, I believe. Yeah, $1.50 bets. 40, oh, I thought you said 14, $14, dollars that'll do. We like these games. Two more for the bonus. One more for the bonus. Come on, give us a bonus. Come on, we're waiting in anticipation. Two more for the bonus. All right, we'll come back if we get something. to Mandalay Bay. Next stop, the Dirty Castle. Oh, she's on Monopoly, of course she is. Uh, we're in Dirty Castle at Scarborough. We're gonna do half an hour's gambling in here. Um, you've gotta love Excalibur. I know it gets a lot of uh, stick, including from myself, but it is a Vegas stalwart, it is a classic. And when these themed hotels are gone, everyone's gonna miss them. So uh, yeah, Emily's throwing her money away on Monopoly, so she should be she should be out of money pretty soon. And then we'll move on to oh she's out of money. Oh what a surprise! Go on, do a wager saver. Eh -eh. Oh you jammy bastard! Eh -eh. Time to move on. All right, we are making our way now over to Luxor. We got $25 free play on the Konami My Vegas slots. So uh, we're gonna head over now, do that, and then make our way up to Mandalay Bay for dinner. All right, we are leaving the Dirty Castle. Um, we're making our way to Luxor. We've got uh, $25 free play on the Konami My Vegas app each. So we're gonna head over there, do that, spin that down. And then make our way over to Mandalay Bay uh, and have dinner. So I'll pick it up when we get the free play and when we jump on the machine and look so. All right, we uh, got the free play and we're gonna head back into the casino and do our $25 each, not expecting much. I reckon if we can turn it into $10, I'd be 
I'd be pretty happy. All right, so we stuck the $25 free play on Dragon Link. We are doing Golden Century. We're gonna do two cent Denom. One dollar bet. Let's see if we can hit something with this $25. You know the drill, we're looking for six orbs. And we'll come back. Or three flags. We'll come back if we get a bonus or a decent line hit. All right, not bad a little hit. We have, I think, $6 left in free play. Yeah, $6. And we hit the bonus. We move to one cent denom, $1 bet. And we have 10, 15, $16 on the screen. Three spins, let's see what we can land. Mini is 10, and oh, we just landed the mini. Mini is $10, minor 50, major 611, grand 10,800. All right, this is turning out to be a decent little bonus for the $25 free play. This is turning out to be a very good bonus for the free play. I was said I was happy with 10, and we're up to about $30, $40 already. All right, last spin, save the day. Ooh, we did. Three more for the grand. Two more for the grand. Here comes the music change. All right, one more for the grand. Could you imagine if we hit 10,800 on a $25 free play? It's got to happen to someone. Last spin. Oh, she's come back. Emily's been doing her $25. She's come back with a stone face. Uh, she got 20 cents. I made like six dollars just now. And uh, we've made about forty dollars. And we've still got six dollars to go. Alright, we'll do a couple of backup spins. Oh, she's not a happy bunny. <laughs> she's lost her money. All right, I turned the free play into $45. Uh, well, let's just looking for an ATM. Cash this out and then we'll head to Mandalay Bay. I'll do another $25 free play and uh, go for dinner. So we'll pick it up once we get there. All right, she's happy. She's got a Fat Tuesday pina colada. We're on our way to the shops. It's absolutely packed in, uh, as you can see. Pack in Mandalay Bay and Luxor. Seems that there's a Keller Williams Realty conference on. So it's full of realtors. Who'd be a realtor, eh? People. I can say that. I am one. All right. We will pick it up when we get on a Mandalay Bay casino floor. So we're just getting the uh, $25 free play from Konami. The amount of railsers at Keller Williams is insane. There is thousands of them. Uh, Mandalay Bay was fully booked when we tried to book it. Now we know why. A couple of the restaurants that we wanted to book in the next couple of days are also booked out for private events. So now we know why. Well, we got our free play. We're going to jump on a machine. We've got a dinner reservation in 30 minutes. All right, we activated our $25 free play on Huff and more Puff. So we're going to do 75 cent bets, one cent denomination. Let's see what we can land. Let's get that volume up. I've got a feeling Emily's going to do quite well on her free play, me not so much. We shall see. Looking for six hats or three saws for the bonus. All right, we will come back if we get something. All right, little $9 hit there. We've got uh, $9 left on free play.
So a few spins left. About five spins, see if we can get something live. Alright, welcome back again, I think. Alright, we turned our $25 free play into $10. Emily is... What are you on? 2360, but what's the free play? That's how you just say it's for free play. So, how much do you win? I'll, I've put $5 in. So, you won $18. Alright, so Emily wins in Mandalay Bay. Alright, we're on a lightning link. We put our $14 in, plus a little bit of extra cash. So we've basically got $40 to spin. We're playing uh, Carida de Taraz, 9.36, major, one cent denom, one dollar bet. We're looking for three of the bulls or six of the capes for the bonus. Machine is very quiet, unfortunately. All right, six of them would be nice. One more. All right, welcome back if we get anything. All right, next spin, we hit the bonus. Very low numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven dollars on the screen. Mini is ten, minor is fifty, major is nine hundred and thirty-six. Come. On. Drop some balls in, please. Drop some orbs or capes I should say away the words on fill all 15 you win a grand which is looks like it's maxed out at 20,000 so it looks like the grand and the major are getting pretty close to being maxed out all right three more for the grand two spins remaining Two more for the grand. Come on. Let's have a nice bonus. Drop a word, please. Seen the mini go by. That's uh, all she wrote. All right, not great, not bad. It's gonna be around 20, $25. Takes us back up to 55. Keeps us alive. We'll do a few backup spins. Queens. All right, we'll come back if we get something. All right, we are on two cent, one dollar bet. Got down to eight dollars seventy-two and hit the bonus. Let's go. We put in $50 originally, so we need something decent here, please. Looking for six capes for the bonus of the bonus. All right, guitars. $4.40 so far. And a re-trigger. I always think when you re-trigger, considering you get six games initially, a re-trigger should be six games, not three. All right, tens and guitars. Still not a huge amount for the bonus, seven dollars. We need six capes, please, for the bonus and the bonus. So rescue this. Wilds, all the way, okay. That should be something a little decent, maybe Gonna guess at twenty dollars, sixteen. Two spins left. We are up to twenty-three eighty. Go on, we need orbs. Nines across on the bottom row. Last spin. Capes. Two more. Two more. Two more. Oh, you rat bag. Two wilds and two buffaloes. All right, that's a $25 bonus. Takes us back to $33.92. We'll play it down to $30, and then we're going to cash out and head over for dinner.
All right, so it said small plate, so we ordered uh, four small plates and a burger. Uh, that's not a small plate. 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 In fact, the burger's probably the smallest plate of them all. Anyway, we're hungry, so we're gonna talk and enjoy this. All right, we are on our way out of Mandalay Bay, heading back to New York, New York. Um, it is too busy in Mandalay Bay for us. It is absolutely packed. There must be 10,000 realtors and Keller Williams guys and uh, staff here. So we've just finished in Libertine Social. Uh, I shall give my review shortly. All right, <laughs> sorry. Um, got distracted. Right, review of Libertine Social. Talk about talk, uh, talk, blah, 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 blah. space dust <laughs> IPA, strong man. I forgot it's like rocket fuel. Um, talk about chalk and cheese. Two really, really good dishes. One average dish, and two absolutely dreadful dishes. So we'll start off with the two good. It's a bit like, uh, is it hangovers and hampays that do two good, two bad? Sorry. That might be Vegas cheers. Told you, it's the space dust, man. <laughs> it's literally sent me to space. Rocket fuel. Um, so we'll start with the two good. The burger was absolutely incredible. Considering we had a burger for lunch, uh, Emily just said she fancied the burger and it was really, really nice. The second dish that was really good was the BLT salad with the ranch dressing, which again was really, really nice. The run-of-the-mill average dish was garlic hummus. I don't know why we ordered hummus. We live in the Middle East. We eat hummus for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Um, yeah, standard, very average. The two bad, and they were bad. The bread. Can you call it bread? Focaccia. I'll put a picture of what it looked like on the screen somewhere up here. It was like a brick. You literally could have built a house with it. It was so dense and dry, it was awful. Someone said to me, you can have one thing for the rest of your life, it'd be bread and butter, or bread and oil, toast, something like that. You can't go wrong with bread. Well, so I thought. Um, and the second dish that was awful was the steak tartare. I don't know what cut of meat they used, but it wasn't tender. It was chopped very, very big chunks. And it was just chewy and lacked taste. And so we left 75% of it. Um, so yeah, two amazing dishes, two really poor dishes. Uh, would I go back? Probably not, no. Uh, I think the only reason I'd go back, actually, no, you know what, I would go back and have the burger and the salad again, but that would be it. So anyway, we are making our way now. We are in Luxor. We're making our way back to New York, New York. Uh, Emily hasn't got a bloody foggy clue where she's going. So uh, I'll take over, put the camera down and find our way out. All right, so we are back in New York, New York. We jumped on Prosperity Link. We started off with $100 doing a one cent denom, $1.76 pence. And after $12, we hit the bonus. You know the drill. Now we're going to say three more to activate the second reel, but we activated it on the first spin. So seven more now to activate the third reel. Some decent numbers, fours, threes, twos. Mini is $20, minor is 50, and major is 974. Mini has just landed on the top box. We need three more to activate the third box. Come on. We've got one spin remaining. Last spin, keep us alive. Nope. There's a uh, very little sound. I'm not sure it's going to get picked up by the phone. All right, that's a thirty-dollar bonus. Takes us back up to one twenty. We'll do a couple of backup spins live. One more for the free spins. Oh, 
All right, we'll come back if we get something. All right, we got the free spins. Well, the dynamites came up, so I'm guessing we have it. Yep, we have. All right, it's the first time we've actually got the free spins on this game. Not back-to-back -back bonuses, but pretty quickly between them. 10 free spins, we're looking for the bonus in the bonus. Six orbs, please, 5x multiplier, line it up. All right, little something, $2. Come on, we need to line these up. Let's make the most of it. Oh, We need the wilds at the front. And we need the multipliers at the front. None of the back. They're no use at the back. Come on, six orbs. All right, $3.60 out of four spins so far. Wilds, but they don't line up with anything. Come on. So far we've got $3.60 out of six spins. Right, line them up. All right, 7.20. We need some uh, big line hits now, or six orbs, to save the bonus. All right, $15 is a little bit more respectable. Come on, come on, come on, line them up. Oh, we're dropping wilds, not lining them up. Right, oh. All right, $16 bonus. Suppose can't complain. Four or five spins in between them. We'll do a couple more backup spins live. Play it down to one tenth. All right, we'll come back if we get something. Yeah. All right, we are back on Lightning Dollar Link. Gotta say, we are really enjoying the Lightning Link uh, games this trip. And the uh, Dollar Storm. We're gonna do, well, the Major is at 961, hence we've chosen this, and the Grand is at 19,448. So not far off being maxed out. Someone's been bashing $5 bets. So let's give it a go, one cent Dean on, one dollar bet. Let's see if we can land something. Looking for six orbs. For the bonus. Or three of the flaming chilies. Got two more. Alright, we'll come back if we get something. All right, we got a decent little line hit here. Let's see how much it is. I'm guessing $32. Oh, uh, 15. All right, not that great. All right, we continue. All right, we've been bouncing around different denominations. We're on five cent, $1.25, and we hit the bonus. Uh, yeah, some decent numbers there. Let's see what we can do. We're down to 44.50. Yeah, there's five, uh, five hundreds are $25 a piece, so there's $50, uh, $75 at least there on the board at the moment. Final spin, save the day. Oh, I didn't think we were going to get anything there, and I would have been quite happy with that bonus, but... Alright, one more spin remaining. Save the day. Nope. You know what? We'll take that. That's a not a bad bonus. In fact, that's a very decent bonus for a one dollar twenty-five bet. Hundred and twelve but fifty, just what the doctor ordered. Thank you very much, Lightning Darling. That's all she wrote. In fact, no, it's not. We're going to do a few backup spins. And we'll come back if we get anything else.
Right, so we are back in Park MGM and we're playing Pharaoh's Fortune. This is a game I play religiously on my Vegas. So uh, yeah, I thought we'd give it a go in real life. One cent denomination. We'll be doing uh, one dollar bet. I just love the music on this game. Let's get it up. Let's see if we can land the bonus. All right. Second spin bonus. This is why I love this game. Although, on my Vegas, we win bugger all. Oh my word. There you go then. Never win anything. Whenever I play my Vegas, never win anything on this, uh, on this bonus. It's always the wheel that gives us the, uh, gives us the coins. Anyway, let's see what we get. Not expecting much. Bam, bam, but no. Wait. All right, well, a fantastic bonus, $3.25. God, it's slow, this machine. Well, that was a riveting vlog footage for you. Hit like, subscribe <laughs> for more Vegas content. All right, we'll do a backup spin. Well, I think we might actually be, uh, I think we'll stick to playing this game on the My Vegas app. All right, we'll come back up again, anything else. All right, well, a few spins later, we are back in the bonus. Let's see if we can actually get something. None of these buttons actually work. All right, plus one spin. Plus one spin, that's five spins so far. Six free spins. Seven free spins, keep them going. Eight free spins, nice. Can we get to ten? All right. Oh, this is a little bit better. And a multiplier. And we begin. Ten free spins. Two X multiplier. This should be more than the last bonus. If it ain't, then we uh, are cashing out the machine and finding something else. All right, here we go. I can't just line them up. $1.90 so far. Five spins remaining, four now. All right, well, all these games and the 2X multiplier and we're still only $3. Can we re-trigger? No. All right, $3.70. That is dreadful. We'll do a couple of backup spins and then we are cashing out. All right, we hit the bonus again. And we hit a couple of decent line hits. I'm not gonna film the whole thing. I'll film uh, the end results and the uh, amount that we win. All right, we got 11 free spins with uh, no multipliers. Let's see what we get. Can we get more than $5 on a bonus? Typical, the one time we don't film the bonus, we actually get a half decent bonus. I say half decent, we're up to $12.50, but it's more than the other two bonuses combined. There we go, $12.85, the final total. Oh no, we've still got one spin left. All right, $13 exactly. Oh 
on Prosperity Link doing one cent, $1.76. We've put about uh, $140 through the machine. We are chasing that $2,600 major. Got the three spins, looking for the bonus in a bonus. Well, we need six orbs. Or we'll line up those multipliers. Alright, nice. $36 hit straight off the bat. Can we get a retrigger? Another $5.60. Come on, let's land the bonus in the bonus. Let's get six orbs. I don't think I've actually got the bonus in the bonus yet today on uh, Prosperity Link. But we'll keep taking decent line hits. Five out of ten spins. Come on, balls, 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 balls. Oh, drop some more down. $8.40. This is spin eight coming up. Two left. Line them up. Drop the balls. All right. 27.80. Takes us to 84.70. Last spin. Can we get over $100? 4x. Come on, line them up. Aye. We didn't. 84.70. Not bad. Takes us back up to 168. Um, I can't even remember what I've been vlogging and what I haven't. You can probably tell by the eyes. We are absolutely shattered. So we are calling it a night. I'm not even going to do a recap tonight because I'm just too tired. So I'll do it tomorrow. All right, good morning. It is recap time. As you can see from behind me, it is the early hours of the morning. I've been awake since uh, 2 o'clock this morning, went to bed about 11, 11.30 yesterday, literally had two, three hours, so uh, we're up early, so I thought I'd get the recap done straight away. So yesterday, yesterday's a pretty um, uneventful day really, I've got a feeling this is going to be um, quite a short vlog for us, it's probably still going to be 45 minutes to an hour, um, but if you've watched our vlogs before you'll know they're typically 60 to 90 minutes long. So we started off obviously checking out of Venetian. We went over to the Grazi Rewards desk and just asked, to be honest, I asked if there's anything they could do on the bill. And I just said, you know, for example, the, um, the resort fee, resort charges. And he said, let me have a look and I'll come back to you. Um, five, 10 minutes later, I said, yeah, no problem. I'll, um, you've only got one night's accommodation and one night's resort fee, so. I'll remove both of them. I think had we had the room and had we had the Yardbird bill, which was about $85, $90, he probably would have comped that as well for us. So definitely always worth asking. We didn't gamble a huge amount in Venetian and Palazzo um, and they still comped everything for us. So we checked out of there. We headed over to Park and Gem Nomad, uh, dropped the car off and went straight to Whataburger. Um, and yeah, like I said yesterday, what a burger, um, what a place. Really, really enjoyed it. Hands down, absolutely trumps in and out, in our opinion. Um, fast food over here in the US always seems to taste, but I don't know. I mean, I'm, I obviously can't talk about it in the UK because I haven't been in the UK for 13 years. But fast food chains, KFC, McDonald's, Burger King, even the big US brands like Cheesecake Factories, um, you know, Shake Shack, all of the stuff, just doesn't hit the mark in Dubai. So I don't know if we're comparing it to the Dubai kind of quality, but the food just tasted amazing. Um, the burgers were really, really good. The sauce was nice. The, the sweet and spicy bacon burger was absolutely amazing. The patty melt was nice. Um, I'd be interested to try their standard burger. The fries were okay. The standout for me, to be honest, was the onion rings. The onion rings were absolutely amazing. Um, they were probably better than a lot of good quality restaurants serve. Um, so that was really nice. We'll definitely be back. The Dr. Pepper shake, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's a chocolatey Dr. Peppery milkshake. It, even when Emily tried it, she's like, it tastes weird. Like you can't pinpoint what it tastes of, 
but you just keep going back for more and drinking more and more. Um, so yeah, we did that and we checked into the hotel. Uh, I then sat in the room for about two and a half hours waiting for someone to come to fix the safe. So I called down to reception, told them and, and said, can you bring up maintenance? We had exactly the same issue, low battery. Um, I said, can you send up maintenance? They sent up a security guard. I told the security guard, I don't need security. It's open, I need maintenance. So she said, no problem, I'll arrange for maintenance. Another 45 minutes went by, hadn't heard anything. Rang down to reception again and said, I'm still waiting for maintenance, can you send maintenance up? So for a second time, they sent another different security guard and I just said to her, I don't know why they keep sending security guards. Like I need, I don't need access to the safe. I need it to change the battery so I can lock it. So anyway, 15 minutes later, she brought batteries. She couldn't get in the safe with her screwdriver. Um, so I took matters into my own hand. I took the batteries. I said, leave the batteries. I took the batteries. I got the bottle opener, the little knife on the bottle opener and I opened it, changed the batteries and everything was working. So wasted about three hours of the afternoon in the room doing nothing while Emily was downstairs gambling. So I went down finally about 3.30ish, did a little bit of gambling in Park MGM, then went over to New York, New York, um, and then obviously went over to Luxor and Mandalay Bay, did our Konami free plays, got a little bit of back from that. Then we had dinner in Libertine Social. Mandalay Bay was absolute chaos. It was packed. There was a Keller Williams family reunion conference on. There must have been 10, 15,000 Keller Williams realtors there. The restaurant was absolutely packed. It was heaving. To be honest, it was giving us a headache. It was that loud. Um, the food in Libertine Social, really mixed bag. Two amazing dishes, as I mentioned earlier. The burger was exceptional, one of the nicest burgers I've had, actually. Um, the BLT buttermilk ranch salad was really tasty. The hummus was average, and the bread and the steak tartare were absolutely awful. Um, I can't remember if I said I'd put a picture of the bread. If not, it will appear here. Um, so yeah, and then we basically did that and then made our way back through uh, Luxor to New York, New York, did a bit more gambling in New York, New York, and then finished the night off in Park MGM. Again, not a huge amount of wins, um, nothing major. I was playing a lot of the games, the standard Lightning Links, Dollar Storms. Um, what's the other one? The pot, pot, the pot closing one, what's that called? Dancing Drums. Yeah. Um, and also Prosperous uh, prosperity, link. Uh, prosperity Link. So there's a machine down in Nomad that it's still there, I hope it's still there this morning. It's like a $3,000 major and all the other machines are like 500, max 900. So it's ready to pop. There were people lining up to, to bet on that and to try and win it. So be interested to see if it's still there this morning. Um, so I came back with 260, so I'm 140 down for today, so I'm happy with that. Emily came back with 280, so she's 120 down. Um, so yeah, bringing back 60% of the money, brought some back the day before yesterday, so um, that's two days in a row we've got money going in the kitty. That's always a good sign. So um, yeah, that's end of day four. Emily's waving at me. You can speak, you know, darling. I'm a free play. What free play? I went to MGM Awards and got... Oh yeah, so just to update you, anyone who's coming who did come here during the hack, um, I think Nicky mentioned it on, on his video actually because he was in the same situation, um, that Emily didn't get her free play so she went to MGM Awards, explained the situation, they checked the system and they issued her her $75 free play that she didn't get in September. So if you were here during the hack, come back, make sure you nip to the MGM desk and ask them and they, they should give you the uh, whatever was, was missing from your last trip. So um, yeah, all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching. Uh, hope you're enjoying the vlogs. Hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you in next week's vlog. See you later.